Hello sluts, how you doing today? Uh, my name is Potato, and just got done watching some porn. Um, seriously, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. We have some more zombies confirmed information for Black Ops 2. Um, so this was confirmed today by Mark Lamia, you know, Treyarch's main man. Now, he said a few things that I'm going to explain. I'm going to break them down and give you guys my opinions. And down below, you guys tell me what you think, because I know this isn't just all about me. I want to hear what you guys think, too, because some of your ideas are actually pretty good. I've learned that in past videos. But anyways, um, so Mark Lamia confirmed that there is going to be a 4v4 zombies mode in Black Ops 2. Now, that's completely different from what we've seen before, because in previous, or the World of War and Black Ops, all we've seen is just a separate portion of the game for zombies. Now, they've actually, I'm, I'm sure they're going to add in, you know, what we've seen before, but they're just going to add in this new multiplayer game mode, and they're going to be using the multiplayer engine, which is different, and I'm kind of excited to see what that is, but it's, I don't know if they're going to set aside, you know, like, an Zombies own, like, ah, I can't even talk. Um, zombies own part of the campaign, you know, just so we know how the story unfolds and how everything went down and got creative. Created, I know how, um, I know pretty much the whole story, but because there's such, a, like, a 50 year difference from the 80s to 2025, we really don't know what happens. Um, probably explain, you know, where zombies came from, you know, like I said, separate story. But back to the 4v4. That sounds cool. I would like to try it out. It's always fun doing new things. Um, but I think that since it's 2v or 4v4, it'll be two teams versus each other in a team deathmatch type atmosphere or domination. You know, game mode really doesn't matter. Um, I'd like to see how Treyarch does it though. But two teams versus each other with the zombies interfering, and that is pretty cool. Uh, but I think it'd be a lot more challenging. But if you could like l uh, not level up your weapons, but well, actually, I would like you to be able to level up, be able to level up your weapons in Black Ops 2 because I don't like the whole um, COD. Uh, I want to say COD XP, but um, I can't even think right now. I'm still sick. Uh, COD points, yes. Um, the whole COD points thing, I was never really a big fan of that, but it's always fun having that return. I'd like you to be able to rank up your weapons, and but if you could like pack a punch your weapons in the 4v4, that would be awesome. I hope the ray gun returns and the thunder gun, those guns, I don't know, they just look really cool and, I don't know, the possibilities are endless, you know, um, I, I love that Treyarch is incorporating all this new stuff because Infinity War wasn't very creative, they pretty much just added in new maps, what, well, what they did was they pretty much added in new weapons to Modern Warfare 3, the maps, you know, a lot of them run the same, um, and he did this, he did confirm this, you know, along with the campaign. There's also a bunch of confirmed weapons, actually three of them, that were spotted in the trailer that weren't before, and that is the Type 95, the Vector, and that's one from Modern Warfare 2, it wasn't that great, and the KSG-12. Now, there is something to back this up, though, we don't, I don't really expect these guns to be the same as they were in um, the Call of Duties that they were, like Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2, because it was confirmed that they are building all these new weapons from ground up. But right now, that's all I have for you. Be sure to subscribe and spank that like button, and I'll be coming out with more videos shortly. Have a good one.